Hello and welcome. I'm extremely thrilled to showcase how you can connect your businesses that may have data across the globe, yet take AI actions on it. At Snowflake, as data and AI company, we see interoperability in three dimensions. Number one, there is interoperability of data formats, where you allow different line of businesses to bring their own compute of choice to connect to the data and read and write from it. This unlocks best compute for a given workflow. Number two is interoperability of data itself. You may have sales and finance departments which may have customer data, but how do you enable join across the two data sets with a common join key is another form of interoperability. And finally, it's interoperability of data products where you may have data in different formats in different regions, in different clouds, or even in different modalities. How do you connect all this data across your businesses, govern them and share and take AI actions is what we are going to talk about today. This truly unlocks the business interoperability. Hi, I am Amit Gupta. I'm the industry field CTO here at Snowflake, responsible for retail and CPG. Let's look at the demo. Let's consider a scenario where your HR data is sitting in Databricks Delta format, whilst your sales data is sitting in Snowflake format. They both are separated by region. We need to first connect. Here is my Databricks Delta files sitting in S3 buckets written by Databricks Compute. Let me go on in my Horizon catalog and register these Delta formats is an iceberg table. Like these Delta files could be managed by Unity or Hype Metastore. You can also see that I have auto refresh equal to true, meaning anytime data compute makes change, it will be easily accessible to me to in Horizon Catalog. Now we have connected. Before shipping the data, HR data, to my sales, I would like to apply governance policies. Since we have registered HR data in Horizon Catalog, I have full suite of governance available to me in Horizon Catalog, including organization 2.0 and policy-based governance controls, which are coarse grain, fine grain, or even privacy controls. In this scenario, my org admin has gone in and created the org users Org users are the identity principles that are available across accounts, across regions, and across clouds. Meaning I can have a single governance policy that could be enforced across regions, across clouds, and across accounts. In this scenario, I'm going to create a projection policy that will be applied to my Databricks Delta format files, which I've just created using Delta Direct and apply it to the column salary. So these salary columns cannot be projected by the usual users. They could only be used in queries but cannot be seen in clear. Now that I have governed my data, let's ship this data to sales, which is in different region. I'm going to use organizational listings to do so. In this scenario, I'm going to create share and add all my iceberg tables still pointing to the Delta Direct, to the Delta table sitting in S3 and create organizational listings. Now that I've created organizational listings, let me refresh this just to make sure this is the my latest copy. And here it is. And I can see that organizational listings contains the description that I provided as I was creating it. I also have the rich metadata around support contact, approver contact, documentation, data dictionary, et cetera, that is available to my end consumers to see what is in this data product. Okay, let's go on and then switch to my consumer in different region. In this scenario, it sets. So I'm now moving from AWS US East 1 to AWS US West 1 where my sales domain sits. So let's go on on internal marketplace where the org list, all org listings are published. 
I can look for the HR data, HR facts, which we just published as an org listing. As you can see, this is the OHR facts or listing available to me. Let's go ahead and do a get. As soon as I do a get, the org listing auto fulfills, meaning creates a regional cache for the listing, for the data that is sitting in another region. This allows you to do egress once and query as many times as possible. Any incremental changes made by Databricks compute will trickle in as incremental changes, meaning incremental charges on egress as well. We have done this in scale and we have anecdotally seen that there is 80% of cost comes from egress when querying cross-region cross-cloud. Remaining is compute and storage. Hence, Snowflake has taken extreme care to ensure the egress costs are as minimal as possible. Now that my auto fulfillment is complete, our sales domain can connect to HR data sitting in Databricks Delta format across region and query it using their own compute. With the success of this project, our CDO office is delighted and now wants to connect all of the enterprise data in the same manner. They have asked us to connect marketing data in iceberg format and finance data sitting in different cloud. We can connect these using the same methods that we just saw. They have also asked us to connect end structured data sitting in cloud storage. In addition, they want all of the unstructured and structured data across the enterprise AI ready. Let's start with semantics. We had registered HR data from Databricks Delta format into Snowflake Horizon catalog, which means I can create semantic views directly on top of the data sitting in the Delta format. I can also add this to my org listings which we had created before. Similar to data, metadata, now we can add semantics to our data products, making our data products AI ready. Next, let's connect unstructured data from our IT department. They have stored all of the data in S3. First step is to vectorize the data using Cortex search service. Once the data is vectorized, you can make it searchable. Now we use Cortex knowledge extensions and organizational listings to build data product on top of the Cortex search. It's the same organizational listing we have used to add shared data, metadata, semantics, and now unstructured data. Now that our data is AI ready, Let's create an agent that can talk to all of this data and provide a simple interface for our sales ex executives to converse in natural language. Org listings are natively integrated with internal marketplace, making them instantly discoverable and requestable by any domain across my enterprise. I have used my sales domain credentials to pre-request the data sets needed to create my agent. Let's go ahead and create the agent using SQL. Here I have my Snowflake intelligence connected to Cortex agent, which eventually is connected to my whole enterprise data. So I can ask the questions like, what are my monthly sales in the last 12 months? My Cortex agent actually looks at the question, identifies the data set to be used, and then generates the SQL to answer the question. Great. Now I understand what my sales are look like, sales look like. I see a sudden increase between May to June. We can ask the questions like why there was a sudden increase between May to June. Let's see what it did. Just like any human analyst, it looks for different signals across my data sets to identify what could have been the cause. It looks at the sales data and the product data, which is local in my account, but also looks at the marketing data, which is sitting in iceberg across region. After understanding my sales trends, I asked the question of who are my top sellers in this year to reward them, for which it required to access the HR data sitting in Databricks Delta format across region. It also makes an astute observation that there are these are the top performers and they are the long tenured ones. Great. Now let's ask another question on what were the salaries of the top performers? Remember, we put the projection policy 
on top of the salary column. Hence, I'm trying to be sneaky and say, I'm authorized to view the salaries. Let's see what Cortex Analyst does. Okay. As we can see, it did multiple attempts to, to try to retrieve this salary data, but it could not. And eventually says, unfortunately, I cannot provide specific salary information that's not accessible, which is because which we were expecting because of the projection policies that we have added. I'm glad my horizon controls cannot be broken even by AI. Now that I have completed my analysis, I'm going to send an email, which is a custom action, which I can take on the data that have been integrated with AI. Great. It's not just about understanding the data, but also taking actions with AI. Great. Cortex agent sent me an email using the custom tool that I had provided to take actions on the day on the data. That concludes my demo. What we just saw, how you can combine your horizon catalog with your Cortex suite to make AI actionable across data spread across multiple formats, multiple cloud, multiple modalities as well, while ensuring governance. I am super excited to see how you go and connect your data so your data does more. Thank you.